marriages are done in heaven yet what has happened to that heavenly bond 27th sunday in ordinary time today pharisees are coming to the lord to test him by asking this question it is if is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife my dear friends divorce is a common topic that time because in deuteronomy chapter 24 verse 1 to 5 if you read and see carefully divorce is allowed with certain certain conditions but then there were two schools hilal and shama where in school of hilal it is said even for a minute details like if the wife cannot cook properly or clean the house if she come for, to, for an argument the husband can simply divorce the wife then when it, when it comes to shama school of shama where where only the husband can divorce the wife only if she is fall into adultery so women were discriminated at that time even the very question they he asked the lord is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife so what about the woman's side it is not considered so anyway jesus is asking this question question what did moses condemn do you command you so they were basing they are they were basing the argument on the moses commandment and they exactly knew the place of women in jesus's life jesus never discriminated them he gave them the equal place and for that matter uh when they were in their own in the in the house when disciples asked about the divorce jesus said if she divorces her husband and marries another so he gives the validity way to the wife's side also so anyway jesus is going beyond mosaic law and asking them and can and teaching them about the original plan of god there we know marriages are done in heaven my dear friends trinity is a unity which cannot be it's a trinity is a unity and it's a family so god saw adam and he was alone and he said adam there was not and he said you should not live alone it is not good for you to live alone and he created all the animals and none can complete his emptiness no no animal could complete that emptiness then only he takes the rib and created the woman so rib is a place close to heart and lungs lungs denotes life heart denotes love so he creates eve woman from adam they both were one spiritually and he separated them into two persons so in marriage what would happen in sacrament they become one the both the parties become one in the in that unity my dear friends so it's spiritually when you become a sacrament no one can separate you that's exactly why god is giving the prominent place in adam's life in man's life and he created all the animals in the in the first creation story we find he creates all the animals and finally he created man and woman in the likeness and image of god so they were created in the likeness and image of god see the validity value see the see the importance significance of that creation and god never designed divorce he never intended that either he always wanted them to be united divorce is a separation is a plan of devil my dear friends so in the fr- in the in the past and adam and the adam was given he took eve to adam and he named adam in a different way 
He said, this at last is bone of my bones, the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. So Adam named all the animals, but not Eve. She shall be called woman. We call that divine passive, my dear friends. So they both are one equal. The first, the first word of mankind, man in the world, in the creation, in this whole universe, the first word the God in the Genesis. This at least is born of bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. It speaks about Eve, the unity, the mystical unity. Marital bond is a covenantal relationship, my dear friends. We find God as the as husband and Israel people of Israel as wives, as the wife, and we find all the time she had been unfaithful to the husband with idolatry. That's why exactly why he asked Hosea, Hosea to marry a harlot, a, a prostitute, and he had to go through this terrible struggle. That's then he said the same struggle I'm going through because of these people that become unfaithful my dear friends but then he never he, he never moved he is never he never changed God never divorced writing writing a certificate God never divorced humankind he loved them come what may so that's exactly why how Jesus loved the church he went to the Gethsemane, Garden of Gethsemane and prayed, Father, if possible, take this cup away from me. It was difficult, yet never divorce the church. So that's the calling we have, my dear friends. The importance of the depth of marriage. The marital spouses are united by God and no one can separate it. It's a, it's a unity made by the Holy Spirit. As the Father the Son join with the Holy Spirit, in the same way, husband and wife, they are connected with the Holy Spirit. And in the Bible, we find in the Gospel how the children were brought to the Lord. Children is a blessing. Children are, they are a blessing in a, in a marital union. But then you have to remember, even though a couple, they don't have children, yet their covenantal bond is the same. Of course, children, they are a blessing and also a responsibility. That's exactly why the Lord is saying, let them come to me. Let them come to me. So as parents, the best thing that you can do for your children is take them to the Lord. The world is so broken. The world is so polluted, isn't it? So in this family union, to bring the children up in a, in a, positive, in a, in a healthy way, it's a terrible challenge. That's why they block the children. Even disciples block the children. And Jesus was sad about it and angry about it. And said, let them come to me. Like, in, like the women in the past, when children, there were no bodies. They didn't have any recognition. But Jesus, according to Mark's gospel, it's special. What he did do, what he did is special. And he took them in his arms and blessed them. Matthew speaks about it. Luke speaks about it also. Yet only Mark would say he would take them, take them in his arms. They have the right to come to the Lord. So family, God, Jesus started the public ministry with a family. Not raising of a dead, no. Family is important. That is the main segment in the kingdom of God, my dear friends. Main cell in the kingdom of God. So God has designed it. God, God has united. Let man not divide. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.